Okay, so we're going to look at a relationship between the KW, the KA, and the KB. So let's just take a second to remind ourselves what all these things are. So the KW is the auto ionization constant of water. It's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. This is also the product of the KA, which is the weak acid ionization times the KB, which is the weak base ionization. So what this tells you is that KW is the product of a weak acid and its conjugate base. This is not the product of any weak acid and any conjugate base, but it, sorry, any base, but the weak acid and its conjugate base, or a weak base and its conjugate acid, are going to have a product of one times 10 to the negative 14th. This also tells you the relationship between weak acids and their conjugate bases or weak bases and their conjugate acids. The stronger the base, the weaker the acid, or the stronger the base, the weaker the acid, because the product has to be one times 10 to the negative 14th. So let's just look at some examples of this. Let's use it as illustrated by um, trying to determine if a salt is acidic, basic, or neutral. So if you had a problem that read like this, what would happen to the pH if you added the salt ammonium fluoride? ammonium fluoride. So what would happen to the pH? Would it increase, decrease, or stay the same? That's the answer that I'm looking for here. So ammonium fluoride, ammonium is one of those polyatomic ions that you're responsible for. NH4 plus is ammonium. Fluoride is F minus. Ammonium fluoride is NH4F. Okay, so we want to know how, when we add this salt, how is it going to affect the pH? Well, instead of being given the Ka of ammonium and the Kb of fluoride, you are given the Kb so let's just say this problem tells you the Ka of hydrofluoric acid is 6.8 times 10 to the negative fourth, and the Kb of ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So you're given the Ka of the weak acid, hydrofluoric acid, and you're given the Kb of the weak base, ammonia, but you don't need those. You need the Kb of fluoride and you need the Ka of ammonia. So what you're going to do in this case is you're going to use the Ka of the weak acid to solve for the Kb of the conjugate base and then you're gonna use the Kb of ammonia to solve for the Ka of ammonium. Because we know that this comes from a weak acid, sorry, this comes from a weak base, this comes from a weak acid, so we know that this ammonium is acidic and this F- minus is basic, but we have to compare the Ka of ammonium to the Kb of fluoride. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use the Ka of hydrofluoric acid to solve for the Kb of the fluoride ion, and then use the Kb of ammonia to solve for the Ka of ammonium, and then 
we will compare the Ka of ammonium to the Kb of fluoride. That's what we have, the Ka of ammonium, the Kb of fluoride. Whichever one is bigger will tell us if this is an acidic, basic, or neutral salt. Okay, so let's see, let's start here. Use the Ka of hydrofluoric acid to solve for the Kb of fluorine. So remember, we can use this relationship, Kw equals the Ka of a weak acid times the Kb of its conjugate base. So this only works with conjugate acid-base pairs. You can't just have any random acid and base here. Their Ka and Kb will not um, be have a product of 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. It has to be a conjugate acid-base pair. So HF and F minus are conjugate acid-base pairs. So we are given the Ka of hydrofluoric acid. So I'm going to say 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals the Ka of hydrofluoric acid, 6.8 times 10 to the negative 4th, times the Kb of the fluoride ion. So I'm just going to divide both sides by 6 times 8 times 10 to the negative 4th. So if I say 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 6.8 times 10 to the negative 4th, I get Two significant figures, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 11th. This is the Kb of the fluoride ion. So we were not given the Kb of the fluoride ion, we were given the Ka of hydrofluoric acid, it's conjugate. So now I know the Kb of the fluoride ion is one times 10 to the negative 11th. So now we're gonna compare that to the Ka of the ammonia ion. So I have the Kb of ammonia and I know Kw equals Ka times Kb. So I'm gonna say 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals the Ka is what I'm solving for times the Kb of ammonia is 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. Divide both sides by 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth with two significant figures. Whoops, I think I did that wrong. a button there. Should be 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th. And that is the Ka of ammonium. So now we're going to see which is bigger. So the Ka, compare the Ka of ammonium 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th, which is the Ka of NH4 plus ammonium compared to the Kb 1.5 times 10 to the negative 11th, which is the Kb of the fluoride ion. This is a bigger number. 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10th is bigger than 1.5 times 10 to the negative 11th. That means that the acidic portion is stronger than the basic portion. That means this is an acidic salt. So that means the question asked, what would happen if you added the salt ammonium fluoride to water? So the answer is the pH would decrease. The pH would decrease because ammonium fluoride is an acidic salt.